All right, you guys, I haven't picked up the camera for a few days. Um, hopefully I'll have explained that in another video, but just in case I haven't. Or to recap, um, we have been here in Utah for two days for my sister's wedding reception. We were in Idaho a couple days ago for her actual wedding, and we took the time yesterday and the day before to just kind of be with family, and the chaos of the wedding <laughs> was chaos. Everything worked out just fine, but we were just constantly busy, so it was hard to pick you guys up and film our part of the day, and I didn't want to really take away from her part of the day, my sister, her wedding. And yesterday, we just took the time with family. Nothing was going on in the afternoon. We all took naps. <laughs> we all relaxed. Jason and I went on a walk, and then my family all came over for dinner, and we had a big, huge dinner with everyone here, except for a few of my siblings, and um, actually just one of <coughs> One of my siblings wasn't able to come because she did Father's Day with her in-laws. But um, I didn't want to take away from that night either because it was our last night with them. And um, so here we are today and we're packing up to go home. <laughs> it has been a very short trip. Um, we, like, here we go. We're back in the car and I got to go up and get our wedding dresses. Lay them out over here. Actually, only one of my dresses is not dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but I hung up the other one just in case I needed it and I decided not to go to church yesterday. So we're gonna put the dresses here on top, to get the kids up, they're still asleep. We're gonna get the kids up and then we're gonna go home. Also, in case anyone is interested, this is what dirty rain looks like. In Seattle, we don't know what that looks like. In Utah, with smoggy skies, this is what dirty rain looks like. This is my sister's car and it is nasty. And then here's our car. We went and washed it last night because it was just so bad. So we went ahead and washed it. I've gone back to Twin Falls, Idaho, and we have come back to Neaters. We are determined to get our French toast. So, we're making a quick stop. There's a bit of traffic. They had the lane closed down to one lane across the bridge. So, let's go get some breakfast. We're all very, very hungry. discreet because there's a guy right behind me but the best thing about this place is that they have pebble ice in the soda fountain machine so Jason's going to get my water bottle and oh they also have coke zero so I was able to get fountain coke zero so that was fabulous so Jason's bringing my big water bottle I'm this is your pebble ice fixation yes are you filming it yeah okay I'm gonna throw this stuff full. Yeah, what, what did we get that for? Because I want to come here. Oh, this is water. Okay, we're good. So Ashley's trying to get the car started. Start the car? She's trying to reach <laughs> the brake. But she can't <laughs> even like... There you go. <laughs> She's too little. Funny kiddo. So we've got one extra cup of ice. Mine is filled. I have my Coke. Chelsea, you filled yours up with pebble ice and water? All right. Ashley, one more potty stop. Do you need to go in one more time? You have the weakest bladder. Yeah, squirrel bladder. Squirrel bladder. I'll go in with you one more time. All right, also, it's cold. <laughs> we all had to come in and get, or come out to the car and get our sweatshirts. And uh, they have a full AC on in the restaurant. And we were all just freezing cold and the wind out here is cold. The sun, it feels really, really good when there's no wind. But the wind is cold, right, Chels? Well. It's just very strange weather this week here in Idaho. It's, I don't know, even in Utah, yesterday it was like cold and 
I don't know. It was it's very strange to be here and not have it be super hot. We all came with like thin layers. <laughs> we did not come for cold, cold weather. Hopefully we have better weather when we go back home. Wrong, Ash. <laughs> Same position. That leg has been underneath her for hours. <laughs> <laughs> she can't unbend it. You okay, kiddo? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get tingly really soon, huh? <laughs> she can't even stand up. You poor thing. You gotta undo your legs during the trip. <laughs> you can't move it. I can't. I'll come help you, okay? Gimpy, you okay? Yeah. All right. Well, your leg is straight now. What? Barely. All right, now we have to make the decision. Are we hungry enough? Or do we just want snacks? Because I just found salted caramel Twix bars that sound really good. We're in Baker City, Oregon. Here's the card. Are uh, we going to get... Abby wants some food, but not McDonald's. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So work it out with her. I'm going about the... Where are our two younger ones? Over there, they want a snack and real food. Okay, we're making our way down Baker City. There's not much here, there's a little park. We're just trying to find food, but there's really not many choices. There's a cute museum and a cute little deli. Okay, we're going to Subway for at least one or two of us. They didn't really have like a salad. They didn't have a salad for Chelsea. You couldn't really figure out what kind of salad. Pass that back. You got a Subway for Chelsea or for Abby and you. Yeah. All right. Okay, we came into the grocery store really quick and Chelsea has chosen a salad and we got some Tupperware to put it in. And I can always use those at home. And a little bitty ranch. And this size won't go bad in the few hours we have left before we're home. So we did choose healthy. Okay, got our salad in here. We're gonna shake it up. And then get her a fork. She's got herself a salad. She wants a cheeseburger to go with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. There she goes. Good and thinking. We'll just take that home. We have a cooler bag. We'll just take it home. Yeah, nice. You be my Yoko and I'd be your John. You show your secret tattoo. Maybe I get one too. You and me can still. Oh, luckily, Ashley was watching our little <laughs> sign right here. She's got a pee and she was like, it's right there. It's on your little screen. And we've never stopped at Dead Man's Pass here. You'll see the view here in a second. We've never stopped so at sorry. this rest stop. <laughs> we're going, boo, we're going. It's Dead Man, not, not yes. Wet Man. Yeah, it's not Wet Man's Pass. I drink your water. But you'll see the view up here. Isn't it pretty? Uh, I'm sure there's a oh, why does it say there's a bathroom here when there's not? Caught in the grass. Oh, boo. That was okay. so hopeful. Sorry, pumpkin. No, it's... It's, it's not. We'll we have to get to the bottom. bottom. We'll get to the bottom. Promise. But this is Dead Man's Pass. You'll see the little loop-de-loops we have to do to get down this. This is one of the reasons why we don't travel during the winter anymore, right? One of them. One of them. This bad. pass is pretty bad. So you just have to come down all these little twisty turns. And it's really steep and really fast. You see by, anytime you see like a ton of uh, truck runoffs like that, there's reasons why it's a bad, dangerous pass. You see down there, road down there, twists and turns like that multiple times. See that truck? He's like losing his brakes. And so then- He's just using his engine compression. Right, because he's worried about losing his brakes. These trucks here, they're going really slow, making sure that they can brake going down. Okay, so here's another truck runoff. There's a truck that's smoking down there. So this is the second truck runoff we've seen in just like one minute. Okay, if you can see this truck right ahead of us, he is smoking like crazy. We're at the end of the pass. We're at the bottom. This is Pendleton right here. But it is not looking good for this truck. I don't know why it's not stopping down here. Are those tires stopping Maybe. His back tire has to be 
ready to blow. It is completely. There is brakes. Regardless of the truck, we found the gas stations that Ashley can go to the bathroom at. <laughs> you are a little bit relieved we found one. I told you it was a quick pass to come down. We would get to a bathroom fast. All right, once again, we know this rest stop quite well. It's a really big rest stop, right? It's a really big gas station with a big stuffed bear inside. But did you make it? You made it, okay. <laughs> close call or not so close? Close. Close call, okay. Glad you're okay. How about you not sit on your leg the way you've been sitting on it? Because <laughs> you still can't get out of the car. Okay. hardest part about this trip is knowing that we're going to repeat it in just a few weeks <laughs> so I'm actually going to just leave the suitcases upstairs it's really yellow in here I haven't even seen Kaylee but she's upstairs I think I'm going to take the suitcases and leave them upstairs just so we can pack again in just a few weeks yeah. <laughs> you need to go on a walk or something I need to stretch. stretch out your legs right glad to be home yeah yeah okay I've emptied this one I had my makeup stuff in here. Two pouches went up to the stairs. 
This one here has shoes, right? Chelsea got a new pair of shoes when we were there because her little Crocs wouldn't do for the wedding. The rest of the shoes are in that bag. We actually have 80 degree weather coming in just a few days, so I think we will use our towels quite soon. Maybe go to the lake, Ashley? Yeah. Would that be fun on that 84 degree day? Kind of get our toes dipped into the lake? I think it'll be fun. Yeah. If anything, we just hang out on the beach, build sand castles, eat chips, be in the sunshine. Yeah. That'd be fun. Okay, then these two pouches can go straight. I don't know. Do I trust them? That dress is dirty. I don't trust these. <laughs> I bet there's dirty clothes in here. Okay, this bag over here, that's all dirty laundry. First time we've ever not done laundry, so that's kind of unusual for us, but I didn't want to take the time. Then this one has my two pouches, and I can just take that straight upstairs and hang it up. One more of Dad's to go up. Now, I don't actually know what suitcases I'm going to take next time, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just take them up. I don't know, maybe we'll just leave them down here for now. All right, we've got a load going. We have two loads waiting. Kaylee actually did a load of towels. I'm gonna have her come down and fold those. She even remembered to take out the trash and bring the cans back in. We thought she forgot, because she's the only one who actually brought them in the same day. Amazing. Plus, she did not load her own dishes. <laughs> she got them all into the kitchen, but I am gonna have her come and do these and unload, because this isn't our mess. So I'm emptying snacks out and I set one sucker and one bag of Sour Patch Kids here. And who already has the sucker? Me. You need to have real food. Okay, I just did it. No, you didn't. Chelsea ate Everything is food. Chelsea, Chelsea ate her ate hamburger? hamburger so I didn't think you would eat that, but let's find out what she, she, Kay she, Kaylee has in the fridge here. Nothing. Nothing? We have pizza left over. We just boxed that up from what Kaylee had. I think some of our oranges are done. How about we have an apple? Fine, with some peanut butter dippers. Why did you put it back in, Twit? Ashley, no real food, nope, you have to have fresh food. Fresh. No, this is not fresh food. It's fresh food. Fruit pouch. So welcome back, Kaylee. Welcome back to Kaylee, I should say. And we've got Max here. You see it? You got to come over no. as soon as we got home. Oh, you can get up, Max. You up. Get up. Up. Come on. Good boy. No. <laughs> Sit down. He wants the last bit of peanut butter. There you go. <laughs> What's another joke? <laughs> He's trying to like bite off every ounce he can. There's there's so much on your tongue. Yeah, get it all off, Max. So how did you do living alone? Good. Yeah. I didn't like the house being that quiet at night, but yeah. Did you? You need to load your dishes. Y'all left me with a full dishwasher. <laughs> you could have unload. Well, how? It's okay. <laughs> and all the trashes were full, overflowing. Well, because we left before Friday, before Chelsea's normal garbage day. I think it's gone, Max. No, he will. I think it's I'm gone. <laughs> He's like every ounce. Well, we're glad to be back with you. Glad you're safe. Grandpa got you ice cream. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're okay. Max, high five. That was weak. Come on, high five. Go boy. Me too. Go boy. <laughs> He's not allowed to play right now because he got injured, huh? Max. Say good night to everyone. Okay, Ashley, we're gonna end our night, but I have good news. What? I just found out who your coaches are. <gasps> For cheer. Who? It's your two favorite people. I think everyone voted for them to be the teachers. Like, yeah, but are you excited? Yeah. She wanted you to come and get your uniform today, huh? Yeah. Because they came in. But Chelsea Marie, walk away. Okay, so are you excited? Yeah. That's who you wanted to get as your teacher, huh? Mm -hmm. Or your coach, I mean. So we'll go get your uniform on Sunday. And we'll show everyone what it looks like. What time? Um, I think the same time. 
Right after well, church. Uh -huh. So, are you excited? Yeah. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Time for you guys to go to bed. Okay. No, they started to giggle. It's not going to end well. Okay, say goodnight to everyone. I know she does this every drive. Like I went like this. Well, they go they go crazy. They go insane. I went like because I had some on my tongue. Okay, say goodnight to everyone. Good night. Good night. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know. It's true, no matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.